Hello and welcome, fellow fans of Marvel Snap. Our opponents want to be toxic with Leech, so we're going to be toxic right back. I hope you enjoy. Just before we get into it, a big thank you. We are doing so well on our subscriber count. I'm really blown away. Let's shoot for 500. 500. I've been kind of tongue in cheek and being like, let's go for a million. Help me get to 500 and then I'll we'll go back to the 1 million. But for right now, let's let's hit 500. I, you know, I do I do one of these every day. Help help a, help a friend out. Help a non-binary person out. A sibling. I was going to say brother and then I couldn't think of the word for non-binary brother. <laughs> Help a sibling out. All right. What's up? I'm D, also known as MTF Doom. We have basically covered this deck before in, in so many words, but it is once again, I'm once again coming to you. Uh, the deck's good again. The deck's, you know, it's it's a sleeper deck in a lot of situations, but right now it happens to be quite good against Thanos. It's okay against Leech, but not not always as good because of stuff we'll get into. Um, let's just, let's just get started. So fundamentally it is a hazmat Luke cage deck, right? The, the amount of decks that are just flooding the board right now are huge. And if they're not flooding the board, they're Shuri decks. And then you have a Shang to, to have some, some chance at that. Um, what, what you're going to do is obviously try to Luke cage and hazmat while the last time I featured this deck, I said basically like, oh, you want to like Luke Cage, Hazmat, and something else on six so that you're not getting like Enchantress. Because if you don't know, if Luke Cage loses his ongoing, the cards that got their power reduced get get that power back reduced. Does that make sense? Right? So if you Hazmat and then you Luke Cage those cards gain all that power that they had previously lost. But if Luke Cage gets silenced, they lose all that power that they previously gained. They, they go back to those reduced stats. So you previously were pretty worried about getting this Enchantress or Rogue, but like the, I, no one is playing those. No one is playing Enchantress or Rogue right now. Like it's so, so rare. So we're kind of taking advantage of that. The other thing, just just so we're on the same page, um, for for that same reason, the Dino Dark Hawk deck, the Patriot deck, Patriot Zoo type stuff, and uh, any Cerebro deck is a little better right now because you can kind of play those out early. Uh, you actually don't want to wait till turn six for the the reason that we've talked about yesterday, the Leech, the Menace. Um, so. This deck, this deck has gotten a pseudo buff in that way, uh, but it is it is just important to keep in mind if you smell an enchantress, you, you be careful. Uh, the other thing is we used to want to play these out on turn six. We don't want to do that anymore. We kind of want to play them earlier. Um, we are playing Wong, which is a huge signpost, but the 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 Shuri deck is playing Cosmos and Armors, but the Thanos deck is not in general. So what we can do is if it's the Shuri deck and we Wong and then they Cosmo against it, we still have an open lane to Shang them on six, right? Because the other thing is, so the Shuri deck doesn't play Leech and the Thanos deck doesn't play Cosmo. So we have kind of like these two different cards for the different setups that that interact positively with the answers of the opposite deck, right? That I think that all makes sense. Um, so like I said, you need cage and hazmat, you, you stone need them for this deck to work, but anything else, if you're missing Wong, Maximus, Polaris, or Hood, I think those are the only pool three plus cards. Um, you, you could include, you could include lots of cards. You could include Absorbing Man to be a second hazmat trigger. You could include Odin, though, again, for the leech reason, I wouldn't really recommend Odin. But, like, I know he's a free-to-play option. Uh, and in this deck, he does affect all the lanes. So it's a consideration. 
You could include Spider-Woman as a free-to-play option that has the same effect, like your opponent's flooding out and you're just going like, okay, cool, like, here, have a fat minus four, my buddy. Um, You could include uh, Black Widow. Black Widow, we found, was pretty good. Just forcing your opponent to, uh, you know, play out another another card that has zero power. Um... That would be, those would be my big ones. Oh, you can kind of always include Scarlet Witch. We talked about how, like, you know, if you just need a card, (laughs) Scarlet Witch is just always kind of a card. Uh, And you could include maybe Nova, because we have some destroy stuff going on. Uh, The idea of the destroy stuff is that, well, one, you can eat the hood and, and Iceman. But you can also, if you end up not finding Luke Cage, and you have to hazmat, like Wong hazmat, and a bunch of your stuff gets minus power, you can then follow it up with a Carnage or a Deathlock to re- functionally reset that lane. So, you know, if your lane ends up at, you know, zero power because you had, like, an Iceman that got minus two from a Wong Tazmat and then, like, a Sunspot and then, like, the Hood, you're just like, all right, cool. Like, that lane looks like it's way, way, way behind but now I carnage and <laughs> now I have just six power f- up from negative four and your opponent had like zero power, but has three cards there. Right. So that's, that's what these are for is as a way to reset. Polaris is trying to clog Elaine. Polaris and Cosmo do similar things. You're trying to hit your opponent's lockjaw lane and just yoink something into it. So they don't get to like, uh, you know, cycle through with lockjaw or in cosmos case like if they do hit that um the leech they don't actually get the leech right uh you're pretty good at holding priority you don't real against the thanos deck you don't really mind playing maximus right on three a lot of the time because they've redrawn uh cards every turn so they might only draw one or even zero cards off maximus So don't, like, you know, based on how many stones they've played, don't worry about playing out Maximus early. Like, you, you, he's, he's also really good as a follow-up to Hazmat on five, right? You play Wong on four, you go Hazmat Maximus. Again, even if you don't have Luke Cage, the ability for Maximus to just be seven power, like, it just doesn't matter, um, is, is just really good, right? Like, he functionally counts for more because of the Hazmat minus you know giving minus power um that's it i've yeah that was quick man i'm getting really good at this uh this is what i've been playing i hit 65 last night i fell a little bit today uh tweaking some stuff um i wasn't playing shang but i was i I, i've been seeing a lot of the thanos deck and not as much of the shuri deck so i wasn't playing shang i was i was trying out odin but, like, Odin wasn't working because I was getting leeched anyway. So, like, it just doesn't, like, I don't, I don't know. You, like, as as much as six costs, like, already have all these problems with leech so prevalent in the meta, I don't think they're playable right now. Oh, and then, oh, uh, yeah, another part of this is that sometimes your opponent will leech and these will, like, lose their abilities and they just become three fives with, like, no downside. <laughs> and that's fine, like, a turn, you know a turn six, 10 power play split over two lanes is like, yeah, it's not as good as like just magnetoing one lane some of the time, but it's better some of the time too. Right. And that's, that's something. Um, I think that's it. Oh yes. Yeah, something I covered in discord that I meant to mention in yesterday's video, but again, because of leech, uh, even so normally in a deck like this, we might play America Chavez because we kind of we want to hit these cards before turn six are our important cards and on six a nine power play following up like a doubled hazmat isn't always like the worst it's it, it's like fairly reasonable in a lot of spots um because of leech we don't want to do that because we always want the out to have our turn six draw be hazmat or luke cage or carnage or something something that can like use its effect to do an interesting thing that our opponent isn't expecting and so always having that the one draw available you know usually they're gonna snap before they leech in a lot of cases you're gonna have to retreat depending on what your play was that turn but 
if they're being a little more reserved because their hand is kind of iffy and they're just hoping that you retreat on getting leeched, not having Chavez gives you one more turn to just be like, all right, I drew the card I needed. Sick. Like we, we actually have a play pattern here. So I wouldn't include her in almost any deck right now. And it, it sucks for consistency reasons, but it is, I think it's just necessary. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, D, also known as MTF Doom. If you find my content elucidating, enlightening, or enriching, the best way to let me know is with a subscription and uh, join the Discord. A lot of this comes up because of like Discord conversations. It's really, it's really cool. I, I have a lot of fun talking to them. They're huge supporters. If you're a huge supporter, uh, hop in and start sharing you know, memes and stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow.